So recently, we have tested all kinds of AI models. We've tested $20 ChatGPT, we've tested $200 ChatGPT, and we've tested Gemini, which I get for free because I'm a student, but I think it's like $20 as well. But today, we're gonna be doing something way, way crazier. We're gonna be spending $30 on Grok Premium. Now, Grok Premium, I thought was a joke because I don't know why anyone would justify paying a premium for something which seems to be worse in every single way, but apparently Elon can justify it. I mean, he did say that it was a super intelligent AI, so, you know, if it is really super intelligent, I guess $30 a month is quite a reasonable amount to pay for it. It's uh, the smartest AI in the world. Some of these things are just worth repeating. Like Grok 4 is PhD level in everything. But in any case, we're gonna see whether it can answer PhD level maths problems. I wanna just emphasize this point. With respect to academic questions, Grok 4 is better than PhD level in every subject. It can reason at superhuman levels. Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be paying for it with Monopoly money. I'm gonna be taking the L for you guys so that you can find out if Grok is actually any good, you know, the paid one. But I have been interested as to why XAI thinks that it's reasonable to charge more than ChatGPT, despite the fact that XAI have less compute capacity than OpenAI. And I think that most people would agree that they're sort of the underdog, at least in terms of the main companies that operate in the space, you know, Anthropic, Google, OpenAI and XAI. So I'm cancelling my ChatGPT subscription and I'm going to pay more for something which I suspect is actually going to be less than what I had before. So uh, yeah, kind of pointless to be honest, but I am excited to see whether Grok is able to answer kind of research level maths problems if I pay for it. And if not, then it's just $30 uh, down the drain, which I'll never get back, which I could have spent on so many other things. I guess this is a bit of a thank you for all of you guys who've been supporting the videos. The channel's like massively blown up recently. And you know, what better way to say thank you than to uh, effectively burn $30, uh, which I'll never get back. I will never get it back. And I, I understand that as well. So without further ado, let's sign up to Grok and start asking it some research level maths problems that I've encountered during my PhD. To check once and for all whether Elon is just a massive AI shill or whether he can actually live up to his claims about Grok. The smartest AI in the world is PhD level in everything. Better than PhD level in every subject. It can reason at superhuman levels. Okay, okay, so we're gonna get it loaded, my laptop. Okay, so for all intents and purposes, this is a real-time run of how to lose $30 uh, and get basically nothing back um, as fast as possible. So we're gonna go on to Grok. We're gonna look up Grok. Here we are. We're gonna unlock extended capabilities, super Grok incredibly super intelligent AI, increased access to Grok 4.1, extended memory, priority voice access. But anyway, let's get this. This is gonna hurt $30 a month. I don't suspect I'll be paying for two months or more. Let's go. Is that is that done? Current plan. We've paid for Grok. I've literally just paid for Grok. I've spent $30 on Grok. So bear in mind, this is the, uh, gro the same Grok that said that Elon could prove the Riemann hypothesis. We got Grok um, to confirm that it believed that Elon could solve the Riemann hypothesis in like a month or something uh, with Path of Exile 2 breaks whenever he wants. So he can play Path of Exile 2 whenever he wants, for as long as he wants, and still prove the Riemann hypothesis. It was really important that Elon had his breaks to play Path of Exile 2. So no more joking around. You know, we've signed up, we're gonna put it to the test. Let's open a question and throw in some research maths. So I'm gonna open two tabs and we're gonna do the same question in 4.1 thinking and expert. Now the first question we're gonna ask, you can see on the screen now, it's basically asking it to prove a theorem which we've already seen ChatGPT basically give a justified reason for. You know, ChatGPT still didn't actually write a proof in my opinion, it just gave an idea which I think does basically solve the problem. And we're gonna see now whether Grok is able to answer this question. So Elon's super intelligent AI is now thinking. So as you can see, Grok 4.1 thinking has answered and just from a quick look at this answer I have to say this is pretty disappointing. It's resorting to one of the methods that I've seen quite a few models try and use which is to move the derivative operators inside the determinant and it's not actually explaining why this specifically is going to help the problem because actually the problem as I've stated it involves doing derivatives of more than just this determinant. As you can see you're actually differentiating this fraction with the determinant at the top and these two Vandermond determinants in the bottom. I'm just not a fan overall of Grok's method of attempting to prove this and I don't believe it's very insightful, interesting or even proves the identity whatsoever. Unfortunately the story was much the same with Grok's expert mode. 
Even though it thought for a little bit longer than the 4.1 on thinking mode, it didn't really give what I would count as a good proof of this theorem. At least not in the same way that I thought that GPT 5.2 managed to do on extended thinking mode. And despite asking a follow-on question to the parts which I thought weren't explained properly or even mathematically justified in proving what it was claiming it was proving, it didn't really offer an improved method afterwards. Instead, it just doubles down on what it's already said and makes a whole bunch of mathematical mistakes claiming that you don't really need to take into account these terms in the denominator, even though you definitely do because they depend on the same variables as the term in the numerator, but that's not super important. All that is important is that what it has said is completely useless. So this first question was pretty much a failure, so I decided to ask it a slightly more straightforward question that's easier to define. It's literally this one equation that you can see here, and it's another problem that we know that ChatGPT did manage to solve. To my surprise, it actually did manage to solve this problem, and interestingly, the way that it justified it afterwards after subsequently prompting it, again, to give more algebraic explanation, because Grok doesn't actually like to justify its answers, and sometimes it's hard to tell whether it actually understands what it's saying or whether it doesn't. At least in this case, it offered a completely different method to that which was justified by ChatGPT. So after all that, I've got to say, on the first question, it was really disappointing, but on the second question, it kind of came out and gave something pretty useful. It gave the same formula as ChatGPT, but I suppose it's kind of cool that it came up with a slightly different version of the same formula that ChatGPT gave. And when it actually comes down to the proof, it gave a completely different proof, actually. So ChatGPT did it mainly via Gauss's hypergeometric equation, whereas Grok seems to be doing it with an integral representation of the hypergeometric function. Of course, it is funny to laugh about the fact that Elon Musk did say that Grok was super intelligent, but you know, credit where credit's due, XAI, I do seem to have made a pretty decent model. I definitely don't think that it's worth $30 a month. It should be $20 a month for sure, because it's very similar, much worse in one example, and maybe arguably slightly better, or at least different, which for me is still worth it, because it's kind of good to have two different points of view on the same problem. You guys have been so supportive uh, leading up to this 10,000 subscribers milestone, and it's pretty crazy actually to see that happening. Um, so I want to say a really massive thank you. I really appreciate all the comments, and a huge thanks to anyone who hyped the previous videos. You've literally made my channel into an actual channel now, so thank you very much. As always though, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one.